Glass is one of the most powerful materials in 3D visualization, bringing realism and depth to your scene. In this tutorial, we'll explore how to create various special glass effects using 3ds Max and Corona Renderer. Starting with clear glass and ending with different textured glass patterns. And now, let's go! So here is the scene and we'll start with a basic clear glass. Let's open the material editor and create a Corona Legacy MTL. Let's name it Clear Glass. And we'll start by setting up the reflection and the refraction level to 1. This ensures full reflectivity and transparency. Let's assign the material to our glass box and check it in interactive rendering. And now you can see what's behind the glass. There is a composition of plants and a special lighting effect which makes this element so special. The result is a perfect crystal clear glass with realistic reflections and light transmission. This will be the foundation for all other variations. Now let's complicate it a little bit. Let's create frosted glass. We'll create a copy for the clear glass material and adjust a few parameters. First of all, we'll change the color to white and reduce the refraction level to 0.99 and refraction glossiness to 0.5. These settings create a soft matte effect, diffusing light and adding that signature frosted look. See the difference? Frosted glass maintains translucency but blurs the details behind it. Perfect for shower enclosures, privacy glass or decorative panels as in our case. Now let's add some texture to our glass. First, we'll create a linear textured glass. Want to learn 3D visualization efficiently? Let me introduce you to our course Mastering 3D Design from Basics to Brilliance a hands-on course designed to help you create high-quality, professional interior renders with 3ds Max and Corona Renderer. In just three months, you'll go from understanding the essentials to creating photorealistic interiors. We'll break down modeling, materials, lighting and composition into clear, practical steps, so you can build a portfolio-ready project and gain the skills to work independently. 30 plus easy to follow video lessons, resource packed with 3D models, textures and materials, private WhatsApp group for guidance and community support. This course is your shortcut to mastering 3D design. Click the link in the description and start your journey today. Learn smart, not hard. We'll start again with a copy of the clear glass material. Let's change the name to linear textured glass. Reduce the refraction glossiness to 0.8 and add a corona bitmap in the BAMP channel. I will use this image. This will simulate fine linear grooves on the surface. By increasing the BAMP amount to 3 in the maps rollout of the base material, it will enhance the effect. With this effect, the glass softly distorts light, adding a modern decorative touch. Notice what a nice effect we get with this linear pattern. Next, let's duplicate the last material. Let's try a rhombus textured glass. I will just change the bump texture and reduce the bump amount again to 1. This pattern create a geometric distortion that works great for partition and decorative panels. Just take a look at this final render. And now let's create one more copy and name it Triangle Textured Glass. And in this case, we'll replace the bump map with another texture, which you can see in here. I want a more textured effect, so let's increase the bump amount to 3. The higher bump value makes the texture stand out more, giving the glass a strong embossed effect. For our last variation, we'll make a square textured glass, create another copy and remove the previous bump texture 
and use instead a Corona normal map. Of course, so that is prepared a normal map and let's add it through Corona bitmap in Corona normal map. The parameters to be used here are checking the add gamma to input and set the strength multiplier to 0.6 in this case. This method provides finer surface details and a more controlled bump effect. Perfect for high-end results. And here's the final result. From crystal clear to frosted, an intricately textured each glass variation brings unique character to a scene. Which glass type is your favorite? Let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed this tutorial and want to support our work, we've just launched our Patreon community. By joining, you can help us stay motivated to create more useful and educational content. Plus, you'll get access to exclusive resources, models, materials, textures, presets, and much more. In fact, the entire material library we created today is available right now on Patreon. Join us at patreon.com slash editacademy and let's build an even stronger 3D visualization community together. Also, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon for more 3D visualization tips. See you in the next tutorial.